What is going on, my fine peoples? I hope everybody's doing good out there. I'm just doing my little dance for you, my kabuki pose. Moving on with the walkthrough, what about Bob here? Your Niho 2 amateur expert. Uh, what we are in right now is the, uh, the Way of the Ninja Novice training mission. And what I did was I just ate a ninja lock. Now it wants me to go in and get a skill. And uh, it's probably going to be, let's see here, Sharkins. Alright, so even if you have these skills, when you do these missions, it's going to make you get them again. And then all you got to do is just use them on people. Well, first, when you got Nujitsu, of course you got to equip it. Ready Jutsu. Get them all. And then go back and, uh... Put him on your shortcut here. And then you will be ready to go. And now he'll send out some ninjas. All I gotta do is just feed them. You don't necessarily even have to do it with the weapon, I don't think. Yep, see, super simple, man. Super simple. Now what we just did was not only did we get some ninjutsu uh, locks so we can get another point in there, we also unlocked a whole bunch of skills. So we got, and we got some armor from it too. So that's good. So let's see what that armor is all about first. Because that's all ninjutsu armor. Well, it's definitely none of those. Nope, not as good as what we're wearing already. Shinobi robes. Hell no. Ninjutsu power 14, defense 12, untouched ninjutsu 3. What we got? What we got on? Nope. Still better with what we got. I might go into the the armor and do some tempering so we can get some better stuff on some of these. Nope, looks like we're still wearing the best thing we got, so that didn't really do us well, but that's alright. We got another ninjutsu point, so let's go ahead. Now we got all this stuff unlocked, right? Which is cool. Okay. The shrapnel bombs are a beast. So we probably want to get um So I want to get this one just so I can fire enhanced uh shrapnel bomb one. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and get this. Can't get that one yet, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this one one more time. Now we got a couple of bombs that we can throw, plus our storm kunais. Be looking pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and equip those bad boys. To the hut. Oh, nope, not to the hut, my bad. To the shrine. Ready jitsu. See now, our capacity is up at 15, but we can lower some of this down, right? So the fire shrapnel bombs cost 1.7 apiece. So let's go ahead and lower some of these, the fire gunpowder bomb down. Now we can put some of these on. We also got that gall nut broth that we can start buffing our weapons with. And take these shurikens off. That'll give us some space. Mm. 
We'll just do one gallon up broth and get some bombs on there. So we got three shrapnel, two fire, one buff, and all of our kunais. Ten of those bad boys. That's good enough for me. I'll go ahead and equip them. So we got our eager shrapnel bomb, our kunai, our gallon up broth. Go ahead and put our lightning talisman on. And our other bomb. Because the one we had on there was a consumable bomb. We got our gallon up broth. Let's see what else we got here. I always like making sure I have everything organized. So put this sound here and that there all right so let's see we got our little what we got here all right we got a gown up broth or kunai an eager shrapnel bomb lightning talisman eager gunpowder bomb gown up broth Sacred water. Let's go ahead and put our antidote on this one. Probably won't need the antidote again for a while because we're out of the poison, but I always want to have it on there just in case. Let's see what we can put on this last one. Got a fire amulet there. Not a whole lot of them though. Some salt that does that uh, destroys the yokai pools. Guardian spirit summon. Let's go ahead and put the fire summon on there. All right, we are set up. Looks like we got some titles. Oh, uh, let's go with uh, equip drop rate. And the spirit stone. We don't have very many spirit stones. Okay. All right, we're ready to continue on. Uh, like I said the last time, the last video we beat the snake boss over in the Biker Sanctum and now we got all these sub-missions unlocked. So we're just going to do them in the path progression. So that's a level 32. That's a level 34. And that's a level 30. Alright, let's go with the level 30. It looks like we are going back to... Stage is this? Oh, this is a fun stage. This is a real fun stage. We need 2,000 more Amarita to level up. Oh, by the way, my gender just changed on me. I am now a attractive young woman. Because I got tired of playing as the uh, dude looking like the T-100. And I got a cool little hairdo. Look at that. Look at that chest. Alright, let's do this. This stage right here is a little bit hard for me to remember where all the Kodamas are. Not gonna lie. Alright, so let's buff our weapon. So we can just start getting ninjutsu points every time we hit them. If you got three current damage 
uh, the skill that buffs recurrent damage by 10 by 10 percent this is what you want man you want fire or or some sort of element looks like our weapon uh let's see what a kunai does oh uh, they don't well these guys take physical damage or they absorb it fucking easy We're getting so close left and right, man. Oh, this stage we'll get a buddy to go along with us. Tokichiro insisted I came. But it turns out there's not a lot to see. I'll take care of things here. You head down to the village. Nah, don't do that. Tell Seriously, her to keep coming. Are you still dawdling here? Well, since you're useless on your own, I'll tag along. Yeah, you will. Let's go, soul sister. Look, now I'm not here because I like your company. Let's get this over with. Now you see you can't get in here. This is what I was talking about in one of the earlier videos about how stages change up and different avenues open up. This is the first one. Now your buddy Whoever's traveling with you, they can get hurt, and once they lose all their life, they will take a knee, basically. And you gotta go and revive them, but they can never die completely. coming together my friends our ninja is coming together see starting off as a ninja to build starts slow but once it gets going and you invest the stats into the or the points into the stats that matter you start to become a fucking beast can't get down there so there's only one way we can go Oh, Let's see what a bomb looks like. Oh shit! Oh fuck! You see that bomb almost took all that life away. Oh goddamn! I'm not doing well. Shut up. We could go back up and get a level real quick if we want. We'll live dangerously. Now this is a big dweller. There's small dwellers and big dwellers. This is a big one. Why not this motherfucker? guy if I'm not mistaken but we got bombs to take care of it that we do look we just got already got another skill point oh, well now we're out Well, god damn. I need your she, help. Yeah, she needs our help. We're fucking dead. Oh, you're worthless. Anyways. Oh, this is a good part to show what this item does. So go to your items. If you have one of...
one of the summer candles. Basically, you can use it and it will, it will get your grave back from wherever you were. So if you do lose a lot and you were at a level up and you don't want to risk running back all the way over there to get it so you don't lose them again, just use a summer's candle. And now your grave's back and now you got all your souls and stuff back. I would recommend only using those like if you were really close to a level or you have a whole shitload of Amarita that you really don't want to risk not re getting a re return. Alright, let's see where we at. So. 15. Our next point will go into skill. And once we get our two main stats up to 20 and our tertiary stat up to 15, we could start pumping a little bit of stats into the other ones that we're not going to use at all and get those all up to 10. All right, I was playing reckless, all right? I'm not gonna lie, I was playing a little reckless. I was overconfident, I fucked up. Not this time though, not this time. We've been using the Kirisagami for a while, let's go and switch to our spear. Look at that, half his life gone. Oh, that reminds me, we did get another guardian spirit. We got that snake guardian spirit. And I know for, I know for a fact he's a brute, but I, I forgot to look and see what his stats look like for uh, if they're good for a ninjutsu build or not. The next time we get to a shrine, we'll check that out. All right, it's payback time, motherfucker. Oh, we got a smithing text, the hammer. Now you can go and smith one of that dude's hammers. If you're a hammer build, that's a good early game hammer for sure. All right, those wheels right there. Oh man, those fucking things are annoying. Oh my goodness. Hit the face because that's the weak spot. That little yellow thing back there. They do that, that jumping around shit. That roll right there, dangerous, I'm telling you. And that fire trail will fuck you up, just like that. Fucking dangerous, man. There's going to be another one of those things later on down the way, so just be mindful. If you got water amulets or anything with a water uh, buff, it would not be a bad idea to have. Alright, I'm not gonna get back there where I have How no room to be? fight. Yeah. Come on out here. Oh yeah, even if you don't revive them, they'll get up in a second as long as they uh, are not getting hit by anything. What the fuck, man? You're supposed to be coming after her. Purify those pools even if there's nothing around because you can get a prestige point for doing it. So just purify the fuck out of all those pools. Even if you don't need to. 
uh, don't walk through there because she doesn't understand how not to walk through fire. And even though she can't die, it would just be annoying if she goes down while you're trying to use her in a fight. I knew there was another motherfucker over here. Well, you're fast, huh? That move right there is only good for humans. You could do it on Yoki, but it's not going to have the intended effect. That's holding L1 and triangle. All the moves are the same. Either it's triangle at the end of a combo, square at the end of a combo, hold L1 and triangle, L1 and square. We're doing, we're doing 450 damage with one kunai throw. Now granted, we got our ninjutsu power up, and we're also wearing armor that increases uh, kunai and shuriken damage, as well as ninjutsu power. So, knowing those stats, your weapons, and your armor is crucial to the type of build you want to do. Oh, you by the way, even if you got a buddy that the game gives you, you can get another buddy if you want one. We don't have any cups because I haven't been farming any graves, but uh, that is a possibility. Let's take a trip downtown. Bring it around town. Alright, let's get on to our bow here. Draw one of these. Draw these guys out. You don't want to do that. Oh, I thought there was one over there. My bad. Okay, you did want to do that. Sneak up behind this dude. Ugh. Let's go ahead and buff our weapon. Not that we need to. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah, we did. He didn't have any poison buildup, though. Some of these things just ain't poison, just doesn't bother him. There is uh, clans that you could join in the hidden tea house that will make your poison build up faster. Go through and look at all those clans. There's multiple clans that are good for different builds. So you don't have to stick with particularly one clan. Like, there's probably like five or six clans that are good for the, whatever build you got going on. Um, so, yeah, that also makes a difference. Oh, he's got an Odachi. <laughs> he almost boinked us on the head. Oh, that was almost ugly. I would have just stopped filming right there. I was like, nope, I'm not doing this. You know, there might not be any Kodamas in this stage. Not every stage has Kodamas in it. And this might be one of them. I haven't been using my Yoki abilities at all. Gotta start doing that. Uh, nothing over here. Just gonna drop down. Not in that fire, though. Because that would be dumb. Alright, you could hear the wheel. There it is right there. 
If it sees you, it's going to start coming after you, man. So just get a couple free hits on the damn thing. Don't use any fire buffs, obviously. Hiding back here? <laughs> Ooh, that was we were almost in trouble. That's what you get for running around all willy nilly without checking the area out first, knowing this game is meant to kill you. Doing dumb shit. Ah, there's another one. God damn it. Now, say you're like, fuck man, I really need my ninja stuff. I've used them all. You can go into your items. Let's see if we got one or not. We are looking for a box, a shinobi box. We don't have one. If you had a shinobi box, it would restore 30% of your usable uh, ninjutsu or mate if you had a sacred brush then that would restore 30 percent of your magic spells but we have neither but we are gonna go down here actually no we're gonna what's the point of this stage hold on a second required find gen c toyo's treasured belongings yeah, I think once we go down here, that might be the end of the stage. Uh-oh, who saw us? Best case scenario. All right, it's up. To, best case scenario is you do enough damage on them that they fall down, and you get a couple free hits on them. But while they're laying down, don't stand next to them forever because after a while they will jump up and explode and fuck you up real good. So get your free hits on them and then back away. Oh, we already got another point for ninjutsu. See, we're getting points left and right, man. It's good stuff. Use that ninjutsu, man. And you will keep on getting points. Let's check this out. We got two of those bad boys. Alright, so let's go ahead and get fire shrapnel bomb bombs three. Now our fire shrapnel bombs cost less, and we can probably do more. Uh, let's go with our hemlock broth. Where's that at? Our gown up broth, excuse me. Go ahead and upgrade that. Now we'll be able to put more ninjutsu down. We do want to raise our capacity, though, and the only, raise, the only way we could raise our capacity is if we actually put stat points into dexterity. Um, and I, yeah, dexterity and skill, I think, raise them up. Oh shit! That guy was like. Camouflage! Another one. Human enemy over there.
Kill him. Yep, that's what you get for being a dumb bitch. It seems you have your uses. Oh yeah, baby. You know it. Yep. So, uh, we're com almost completely without ninja stuff. But what I will say is this. I'm pretty sure the end of the stage is down... There. So make sure you clear up everything over here first. Some sacred arrows. We'll get whatever this guy dropped. This is just another way to... Get down there. Go get this. Some sacred water. There's a shiny over there. Walk around this way. Shrapnel bombs. Those are always good. Go ahead and put some of those on so we can take care of whatever the fuck this uh, cloud is. So those shrapnel bombs do some damage. Put them where I would normally have my regular shrapnel bombs. And there's five. Alright, let's go take this bad boy out. God damn fucking stuff course. To be defeated. Woo! Too easy. Another soul core. Man, we are just dropping soul cores left and right. When we go over there to fuse them, we're gonna have a hell of a Hell of a soul core um, collection. Let me whistle and make sure. Oh, it's a regular one. All right. Who the fuck is doing all that growling? There's a monster growling somewhere. Anyways, let's go down here and finish this stage out. There's a Gaki as soon as you get down here, as you can see. Make sure you don't leave those things laying down too long if there's a buddy of his, because remember, he will consume him and get all big and shit. And that is no bueno. Oh, there's our guy, doing all the growling. There's our guy. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit!
almost dead. Get him. Yeah. Seems there you like go. The work here is done. Now we got a, a, a blacksmith. We got a we got a thing to make the blacksmith make better weapons, basically. And thanks, homegirl. Appreciate it. Let's go see if we missed anything over there. We did. Get that. Go up here and grab that. Medicine case. Those are usually pretty good items to have. See, the funny thing is, you can't even fall off ledges. Once the mission's over, that's it. You can't even... Watch, you can go... Stand in the fire, man. Like you're invincible. Or invulnerable. Omnipotent. medicine case. Elixir efficacy, anima, defense bonus, magic. Well, this one's not all that great. You see that auto grave recovery on that? That's 18% that if you die, your, auto, your grave will come back to you without having to use one of your summoner candles. If you think you're going to die and going to bite it, it might not be a bad idea to, to throw that thing on real quick. Just so there's the chance that you get your grave back without having to go back and get it. Lux stat. The Lux stats is going to make uh, better equipment drop and items drop. So toughness and luck are very important um, stats that I don't think this game puts a lot of emphasis on telling you what they do. Toughness and luck super are super important. Toughness is your poise, right? Your ability to take hits without getting key winded. We got a spear. It looks like we got a prestige point. Yeah, we do. We got two. All right, let's go. So I want anima charge and extended yoga shift. Absolutely. I wouldn't put too much in like uh, Amarita, like gained Amarita. A lot of people make the mistake of going, oh my god, I gotta get levels, I gotta get levels and grind. You're better off putting your stuff into things that are gonna make you fight better. Because even though you level up, you getting anima, uh, anima faster or you being able to stay a Yoki longer, it's gonna make more of a difference. Because after a while, your levels are gonna slow the fuck down. You know, it's gonna be like, a hundred thousand Amarita just to level up once, so not worth it. So we got that for the blacksmith. So now should be able to blacksmith some cool stuff, and we got a bunch of new soul cores. So let's see where we're at. We're at 39 minutes. level was that? Favor for blacksmith. Alright, we'll go ahead and cut it here, then I'll do some stuff off screen, and then we'll pick up with, uh, with the search. Uh, this is the one where you'll start getting the, uh, the language for the Kodamas. You'll start being able to understand their language after this stage. You gotta find all the Kadamas. That's how this this next stage goes. Anyways, all right, folks. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> 